May Crockett stands where she plummeted but a few days prior, now fully equipped with a way on and off of the ship. She has conquered the strange time vortex and now stands a chance at rescuing others on the ship. She's heard gunfire, so someone might still be alive. And this Major General will not be giving up, not until she knows for sure. So with machine gun in hand, she will clear. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and to our short survival series, where things are quiet right now, because May has her earmuffs on, and she's probably going to need them on today, as we are going to be working on clearing much of this space. Now, we don't have to clear every single room, but as long as we go in and we know that no one is alive in there, then that is enough. So there are going to be a few scenarios in which we are opening it up, seeing if there's anyone in there, and then going, okay, all right, that's that, and we're going to close up shop. But for these ones here, we're going to have to make sure that we go in and have a little bit of a look around just to make sure that no one is hiding. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. And hello, feral crewmen out of nowhere. Let's go and try and back up a little bit here. And let's see if we can take you out. Oh, we most certainly can. The bullets tear through doing their work. Grim work that it is. And what else do we have down here? Not much. Okay, so that's that section cleared. We're going to go all the way up to the top here and make sure that we are clearing these rooms as well. Office spaces, I think they are, or offices quarters more than like. Let's go back up the top here, and I think we're just dealing with bathrooms. Yeah, bathrooms and a way out, and also a way out onto the flight deck. We're going to head down towards the bottom first of all though to see what we have in this space here. And you might have seen that little flash then for a second. There is a bug at the moment where our sight is being shifted off of where our character actually is. And so that's how we were seeing through walls. And the way that we can think of that right now is that May has been dealing with this weird temporal vortex here on the ship. And perhaps that's given her some kind of perception that she shouldn't have, where occasionally she's able to use remote viewing to see places that she hasn't even been to before. Something like that, yeah. Now we do more than likely have a congregation of dead up here that we left behind. We can already see one fat zombie that's going to be roaming on over towards us. The flashlight is lighting us up like a beacon, so anyone that's around here is going to be able to stumble on over towards us, and we're okay with that. We are going to be holding our ground more often than not and just letting loose. The only time we're going to really try and run is when we start getting low on ammunition and we need to try and reload. That's a lot of full metal jacket rounds. More than we need. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I would like to hold on to that, I don't think we need it. And we don't need any of this stuff either. Yeah, it's all of the flight crew's stuff. That's all yours. Okay, so we've got some brainless zombies. We can probably take them out with just our combat knife if we need to. So we'll see about doing that. We've got, oh, okay, a feral crewman. That's probably going to get there before the others. So we'll deal with you first of all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See those last few steps? They, they seem to get there a lot faster. We do need to be cautious here. Okay, now, yeah. Let's drop the rifle back here. Draw our combat knife and start to make our way down towards them. We'll turn off our light just to make it a little bit safer. Just in case there is something else out here. It means that they are not going to be able to see us. Oh boy, the feral crewman just kind of popped out of nowhere, huh? Yeah, now we could try and knife them a whole lot. Do we want to try and do that or do we just want to try and get up here? I think that that's going to be the smarter option for us. Let's see. Store and sheath. Okay, we managed to get that out just fine. All right, you two head on over this way, please, if you would be so kind. And let's deal with you. You're next, buddy. There we go. Down. And I am checking the bodies each time to see if they have anything for us, but I don't think that many are going to at this stage. All right, let's save on ammunition yet again, draw our knife, and let's let the crawling zombie crawl a little closer before we just poke it to death. Now the other brainless zombie there will get closer with our light off. Oh, and that's a grab right off the bat. We took a little bit of a hit there, but nothing too bad. And you might have also heard more shots. I almost think just trying to beeline towards wherever those are coming from is going to be the right thing for us to do. And we know that those shots have been coming from the west. So we're going to keep on making our way on over there. But no doubt there are going to be others about trying to stop us. 
So far, so good. The break room is clear and oh, hi. Okay, we do have a few up there. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna stay out in the open. Let them start to come to us. We've got 76 rounds in this magazine, which should be more than enough. And we can afford to take shots at them from a little bit further away because yeah, if we do miss some of those shots, they should still hit the ones that are behind. Yeah, we actually just took out a crewman with that burst pile it down and we've got a few other soldiers heavy arterial bleeding on this one so i think we might have actually managed to pop it wonderful and then just this marine there we go okay feral crewman is dangerously close yeah you came over from the west towards us okay from a different group this one die all the same though and we'll just move up smash these bodies and check them over we are good to continue on, but we probably want to close this up before we do continue, just in case there are any other, <laughs> any other members just lingering about, like these three marines just hanging out in here. We're going to close that door. We know that that room is clear now, so we don't need to worry about clearing it ourselves. We've got a marine and a crewman heading out, out towards us. Now we do actually have some coming down from the the southwest now as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a bit of a train. Now, we need to be careful with the marines. We don't want to let them get too close. Because of that specific reason. Stop aiming. Yes. Yes. Uh, because they can attack us. With their bayonets at range. However, I thought that we were a little bit safer there. Because usually diagonals, there is a little bit more distance. But in that instance, they were totally fine with attacking us. Yeah, so... I don't know why, but when I'm passing time when they're further away, it seems to take a long time for them to get closer. But then when, when they kind of get within range, it's almost like they're stumbling towards us quicker because it takes them less moves to kind of reach us. But May, you're doing a great job here. There we go, cleaning up. Wonderful. So I think we might have a moment here to smash most of them. Oh, we spotted a zombie marine, but they aren't approaching us just yet. And boy, howdy, we got some ammunition in. We'll be stripping that out of that magazine. And it looks like we've got another one down here as well. Wonderful. Okay, well, we kind of just got that in the nick of time. Because <laughs> that's a that's a decent congregation that we've got coming for us. Now, I wouldn't mind trying to see if we can utilize a grenade here. So we're just going to start to back up a little bit further. We'll turn off our light just to be a little bit safer. And I think as long as we're just turning our light on at a distance... That'll be okay. So what we want to try and do is turn the light on where we want them to congregate. And right now, I'm thinking if we run up in this direction here, close that door, that the ferals aren't going to be able to get it open in time. We'll see. We're going to have to head towards the light out and around. Let's just close that door as well. Okay, and we'll catch our breath before we go back inside, but we should be able to head back in just over here. There we go. Let's just close that door for now, just so it's darkness. Now, if we head on over in that direction and throw a grenade down there, I think we should be good. However, we'd want to make sure we're throwing that grenade from quite far away. Let's get our breath back first of all, just wait until we've caught it. We're going to turn on safe mode. And I guess we don't want to be dropping our gun too far away. Yeah, let's maybe look at that for now. Just drop that on the ground. We're going to wield one of our grenades. And let's see, what kind of distance can we get here with the throw? Pretty, pretty decent, like all the way on over towards it. Let's activate that grenade. Look at throwing it. We have no idea where it's actually going to wind up. Okay, they got our practical throwing skill up. Let's just start to turn and run away as quickly as we can. Okay, you were hit by a bomb fragment, but it deals no damage. We have no idea how much damage that actually did to the area there. But we're going to find out, aren't we? Yep. Let's grab that. Let's actually reload it before anything else. There we go. And let's turn on that light. Okay, so they're all still there at the moment. That's prime grenade throwing kind of territory. Are they going to head on over towards us right away? Probably, I'd have to guess. If we're quick, we can get away with another grenade. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> no, we cannot. Okay, well, I think we can still try here. So we're going to say throw. And we're going to throw in that direction there. Don't hit the one in front of us. We just need to turn and run. Oh my god, it's right here. Oh my god. Okay, that's terrible. Our torso is gushing blood. We need to take a few more steps away. We need to use hemogenic powder right now. The grenade dropped right where we were. That is disastrous. We're still alive somehow though. Our torso is no longer bleeding. Okay, that was not good. 
I don't know if that. Yep. Okay. They're still alive. They're still alive. Let's grab, activate the holster, draw out our service handgun. We cannot afford to uh, take chances here. We need to get back towards that rifle. Okay, we did manage to take out a few of them. The rifle is damaged. No surprises there. A freaking grenade blew up on top of it. Okay, let's get much, much further away. What we want to try and do here is just get back towards where our, you know, where our rifle is. So we should be able to kind of go around here. Oh man, you were just hanging out there, huh? That's not good. No, no, no. Okay, we will let you get a little bit closer. We'll take a shot at you. A good hit, but only for eight damage. Just the bullets are not strong enough. Let's get further away again. Our um, stamina is going to be giving out soon, though. Yeah. So we need to be wary of that. Let's start to head back around here again. Just hope that they've gone far enough away, and they have not. They're just hanging around our rifle. Well, how great is that? We should be able to get a few shots on them before they get too close to us. It's the good thing about the handgun not having as much recoil. Run back. Okay, we're just going to have to take them out this way with the service handgun. Still got 11 shots in there, so that's a decent amount for us to work with. And you actually have another service handgun. We're going to smash these bodies after we have actually dealt with the situation. We are not in a position where we can do that just yet. Start running back, get more distance. Let you take one step, and we'll take another shot as soon as you take another. Only six damage. Seven rounds remaining. We're still not too bad, but our stamina is starting to get a little bit worse off. We need those good shots. We shoot it, but we deal no damage. Not good. Only six damage again. That is rough. That's very, very rough. We need those, you know, 30 shots. Seven damage. I mean, all of it's starting to stack up over time, but it's just not enough to take it down. We've only got three rounds remaining, and this thing is on us. We might be able to use the helicopter here. May's lungs are burning. Okay, that slowed it down for a moment. We'll get one shot off. We've only got two more shots left. One more shot. Okay, this is it. Make it count. Make it a good one. Okay, and it is good. It's knife time. Just drop the handgun and start slashing. Okay, she got in quite a few strikes there. It's nearly dead. There we go. You got it, May. Continue after a break. Hot damn, we are so lucky to be alive. Grenades, explosives can be incredibly dangerous when you're dealing with torso damage. And uh, that was that was rough. Uh, let's actually reload our service handgun before we put it back away. Oh, it's still in there. Okay, that's all right then. Oh, okay. Looks like you actually did have a carbine on you. We'll take that ammunition and let's see if we can finally make it back to our rifle. Gotta hope so. Let's turn on safe mode. Okay, there's a crawling zombie there. And we still have a marine who is just feeling fine. Okay, let's activate our holster, draw out that handgun, and we're going to have to have a look at taking out this marine. Only eight damage again. I swear we were doing better before. Maybe it's because we were dealing with the feral crewmen and not the marines. The marines have that extra bit of uh, ballistic protection, which in this, <laughs> in this case is helping them out a lot. We can't do more than like eight damage at a time. Okay, let's get distant again. I don't want to get tangled up in this wreck though. So we need to make sure that we're kind of making our way around here. I don't want to head into the unknown though. And we're kind of getting towards that territory. We could be drawing anything towards us at this point. So we need to just try and double back around, not get caught. Heavy arterial bleeding. It, it's going to be losing health over time. And a few more good shots should be enough to take it out. It is slowing down. Okay, come on, come on. Bleed out already or just die. There we go. That's what we want. Three grenades. We'll take them. They're bloody dangerous though. Okay, we'll smash your corpse as well. And we are just going to wait, catch our breath back before anything else and turn on safe mode. Okay, we're probably going to have to deal with the crawling zombie before we deal with anything else. Um, do we want to take a chance with that crawling zombie? Not really. Not really. So let's just start popping that with our pistol. Yes, it's going to make more damage in this area here but that's fine. Heavy arterial bleeding, you are going to bleed out. And you do. Just like so. Okay, let's reload this once again. Fresh magazine. And we've got our rifle back. Lighting up the area. We're safe. Okay, let's start to smash these bodies and see if there's anything that we want to take from them. We're going to open up the aspirin bottle and just take the aspirins out as is. 
We're in distracting pain, so we'll probably look at taking some of them now. And let's get some decent bandaging done on our torso, because boy howdy, that got messed up by that grenade. Okay, all of them are clear. Let's go for this body down here. Wow. Okay, so we're working at a bit of a disadvantage now. With our torso being as damaged as it is, we are going to have to be cautious. Rather cautious. Oh, messy, messy day, May. And a feral crewman. Hi. Hi there. Okay, well, you opened the door, didn't you? No telling where you came from. But we're going to make sure that we close that back up again. And we're going to continue on towards the west. We probably want to try and get this door closed as well if we can. Just as soon as we deal with this crewman who's stumbling towards us. Done. And there's yet another shortly after that, followed by a military pilot as well. Oh, and there's even more coming out the woodwork. All right, let's take a few steps forwards. Take out this technician first. And we are going to bash those bodies. Oh, another pilot. Okay, come on then, let's make this quick. Now let's get that door closed as well. There's probably more of them in there if I had to take a wild guess. And up here, we've got only one. And I don't think we've actually been up here as well, so it's probably worth us actually having a look at it. Oh, and we've got another marine that's just popped around the corner. Hi there. Looks like we're going to have to deal with you first. Oh, and another, of course. That's those two done but we've got another up the top there. Okay, we'll smash the bodies, and we'll see if we can just move up and close this door. Seemingly okay for now. We've got a mariner in there. Well, if we want to use that staircase, we're going to have to deal with them. Okay. Well, hello. Yet another storage locker with a decent number of rifles. I think we're probably going to stick with what we've got for now. Lots of Stanag magazines. I'm not seeing any modifications. And over here, we have ammo cans and lots of ammunition at that we've got some huge crates too that have oh high explosive rockets in them well that's cool <laughs> you know what i think we probably do actually want to take a new gun because our one is currently a little messed up so let's just unload that for now and we'll go and drop that on the ground i think we've got some more in here we do okay so we'll pick you up very very nice and now what do we want to go with here we can reload you with, um, oh, the stuff that's in our backpack for now, but we definitely have some other things here, right? We do belt pouches, and we've got some proper belts. Okay, but they're not fully loaded at the moment. We could probably get by by just having one, like, massive belt. That's probably the right way to do this. So let's just start to unload some of these belts, because if we want to use them fully, we are going to have to have some linkages to reload them fully. Do we have any more? We might do. Oh, yes, we do. We do. We do. So let's just grab one of those. I think we should have enough of them that we've taken apart now. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can get this reloaded. Yep, we certainly can. Hot damn. And we can take that 500. Okay, that's significant. And it does actually put us quite overweight. So we're going to have to try and get rid of a few things here. Drop off some of these spent magazines. And even our 100 drum, that's got to go. And same thing with the other magazines that we've got. That's still overweight. And yeah, if we need to run, we want to make sure that we're not going to be overweight. 500 rounds should be enough for the moment. If we need more, we can always come back to this point. Let's just have a look at our inventory here. And we're going to sort by weight to make this a little easier for us. Oh, so are they compromised? Yeah, let's get rid of it then. If it's compromised, get them gone. That, you know, probably saved our life, those plates. Yeah. Well, let's pop back some more aspirin and look at continuing on with our big belt magazine now yeah and you know what because we're in a bit of a more open space we're gonna take off oh these here and yeah we can hear a lot of noise now and in here as well good that does make it a bit easier to tell whether or not we should be opening doors looks like we've got another destroyed helicopter down here yep a mariner and a pilot making their way on out to see us oh okay yeah that's uh that's loud and our ears are ringing. I suppose we could kind of just try and put them on when we feel like we're going to need to. Like now, how long is that going to take? Not that long, all things considered. 
Yeah. Okay, there we go. Smash you and smash you. And I would like to get up here and probably just close these doors. And let's take off our earmuffs again. Okay, hearing even more activity here. But I'm not hearing, you know, human stuff. Oh, hang on. From the southwest and above, you hear hostile detected. Okay, so there is some kind of uh, machine defense system that's on here. Also, man, it really sucks not being able to, to peek. That is a big, big disadvantage for us right now. Unfortunate. So, the gunfire that we heard then, that could just be from some kind of military platform. Not a person, just a robot. Our ears are ringing again, I know, I know. What can we do? We want to be able to hear what's going on around us. And there is a lot going on around us. Getting some decent shots here, but it is most effective when they are right in front of us. Okay, yeah, you know what, let's, um, Put those earmuffs back on now that we're done. Uh, it looks like we've got some marines up the top. Oh, many, 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 many marines. And yeah, I just wish, wish we could hit them with a grenade from here. But you know what? Having them pile out like this, I think it's still worth us just blasting because uh, any of those missed shots are going to hit the ones straight behind them. Okay. Oh, okay. You're dead. Good. You were sneaking up on us. I was a little concerned. Okay. You've definitely taken a few shots. Oh, Bestial Stalker, yeah, you need to go now. Nearly got you. Okay, phew. Onto the crewman now. And we're probably gonna have to start backing up in just a moment. It's still working out so far. Now that Marine, they can hit us from there, so let's just back up a little bit further. Make sure that we're gonna be safe here. Okay, Marine isn't dead, but the one behind them is. So it's not gonna take us too much more to take this one down, I think. There we go, that's what we wanna see. Mariner, you are up next. And we're, we're really tearing through this ammunition here. We've already used a hundred rounds just like that. That would have been one of our old magazines. Brainless Zombie has been spotted. We'll ignore it for now. And I don't think we need to worry about picking up um, small loads of ammunition now. It's just not something that we need to worry about. Brainless Zombie down. Okay, we'll smash the rest of these ones here. And I think I still will check them. Like, it could be worth us taking some of the linkage back just so that we can actually reload properly. It is a little time consuming to do that. What we can do is we can set an auto pickup for that though, and that will make it a little bit easier for us to do that going forwards. There we go. And so, yeah, I'll get that set. Yeah, there we go, linkage, okay. And we will go ahead and enable this for now. So when we walk around these bodies, we're gonna be picking up that linkage. We just need to make sure that we remember to turn it back off again. Dangerously close, stop picking up. Yeah, we will. And let's just go combat knife on this bugger. There we go. Okay, that's all that linkage picked back up. Uh, let's head back to where we were and just get sorted on our ammunition. Okay, we are locked and loaded. Taking off the earmuffs. So much noise as soon as we do. You know what, let's start to head a little bit more to the south here. Check out some of the spaces that are down here. Another workshop it looks like. Lots of good equipment. Yeah, I think, I think we wanna try and clear this before we look at going up or down. I guess we could just peek up, couldn't we? See what's happening up here. Okay, aha uh ha So this is a level above the main deck itself. So this is gonna be the bridge. I think this is where we wanna be more than anything right now because this is, this is May's command. This is where she would have been up. And I think fighting towards the top of that, that's gonna give us the best chance possible of actually finding anyone that might still be breathing in the ship. Oh no, okay, yep, stop aiming. Okay, so Feral Crew just came downstairs at us. Um, I should have been prepared for that, and I was not. So let's start to back up here. Ha, huh. yeah, all right. Yep, they're piling down the stairs towards us now. This Feral Crewman's nearly dead, and now they are. Take out this Marine next. Pilot, there we go. Okay, let's pick up that linkage, smash these remains, and we're gonna have a look at heading back upstairs. All right, and instantly we've got folks here. Yep, that's a lot of recoil for us to deal with, maybe too much at the moment. There we go, that's the Marine done, dealt with too. Okay, so our arm is still bleeding a little bit here. Let's just go and put a bandage on it right away. We've got enough of them that we don't need to mess around. Oh boy, okay, we, we, we were definitely seeing someone above or below then, and unfortunately peeking just does not help us right now. Okay, hello, we've got more out there. Okay, so I think we are actually on yeah, this is the main deck. Okay, 
So I want to be very cautious of anyone just coming down the stairs, but we're also ready if we need to um, pop back down ourselves. That's one down, aiming up on the next. There are a few feral mechanics out there that are starting to make their way closer to us. You're nearly down. Oh, come on. Yeah, we've just been unlucky with a few of those shots there. The crewman's nearly right on us. There we go, that's that one down. Technician's closing in. Bullets are flying free right now. Mariners and soldiers alike are stumbling towards us. And we're just going to keep on letting these bullets fly because right now, even if we're just spraying, we stand a good chance of doing damage to someone. Heavy arterial bleeding. Yeah, okay. Gun is starting to malfunction because we've been sending a, a lot of bullets through this right now. Okay. Oh boy. That was a lot. And yeah, a lot of noise. Crawling zombie has come down the stairs at us. Okay, well let's actually take our time with you. No point in us just wasting bullets here. There we go. Done. Smash the rest. Whew, okay. And as we move around here, we are going to be collecting uh, linkages still, which I'm alright with. We're going to turn on safe mode as we make our way around here. And let's close that door to the outside. Okay. Yeah, a few of them in here, but no one that I'm that concerned with. The, the crewman's going to open the door, though, even if we close it, so we're going to have to take care of them. Yeah. One down, nearly the second. There we go. That was a big destructive noise that was not caused by us. It was by something else here. Something down below. Okay. I wouldn't mind checking out the rest of the deck before we go up. So let's just poke our head outside. It's not great. Um, if anything, I would love to chuck some grenades down at them. So, let's see if we can run back inside. They are feral, so they are going to be able to chase us, but if they lose track of us, they're going to have a much harder time of doing that. So, we're higher up in the bridge now. The command space. Let's keep on moving, May. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, there's a lot of ammunition there. There might have actually been someone alive up here at some point. Staircase leading down. Well, we can see the dead down there. We can certainly try and take care of them that way. And this would be May's office right here. Let's see if we can get into that before we do anything else. We've spotted a zombie mariner. Okay, we're going to spot a few of them, no doubt. Oh, and it does sound like there is someone or something in there. Let's keep on at it. Stumped us yet again. It's taken many attempts here and we're still not through. I think this is the last try with this one. We do have another pick lock that is still fresh, but it's not easy for us to get in here. We can always make more. May is going to want to get into here. There we go. A satisfying click. Let's get ready to run back. And a feral crewman had locked themselves in here. They're just alone, seemingly. There could be other things around that corner though, so we're going to want to approach cautiously. And sure enough, there is an officer in here, all too familiar to May. Leveling that rifle of hers, she gets ready to mow them down. Now it's quiet up here. Checking through her belongings. There was a ledger back there, a record of things. Her computer's completely destroyed. No help to anyone. Okay, well, looking out here, someone did something. We've got a military pilot and a feral crewman here. Let's smash their remains. Okay, is that mechanical fluid there? I think it is. Ah, there was a turret there. Another turret here as well. So they were firing down at everything beneath here. And it looks like they have destroyed them. Fighting their way up towards here, yeah. And okay, there are two belts. Just completely good and ready to go. Well, you know what we're going to be doing? We're going to be trying to take precise strikes where possible and firing down at those below. Aiming up precise and then firing away. There we go. Just shot after shot. And there will be times when we're not able to take those shots, but for the most part, yeah, we are clearing them out. We could be chucking grenades down there, but there's no need when we've got as much ammunition as we've got. Yet another taken care of down there. Okay, we've got at least one more, it seems. Well, while they, when they pop out here, it is not for long. There we go. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I think that was the last Marine. Let's bash that body. And I suppose we could put a fresh belt in. I mean, why not? We're here, right? Lock and load. Let's head on to the other side here. And start to do some work. Or, no, they're, they're already gone. Okay, they might have just popped around to the other side then. Ah, boy. But yeah, this is the very top of the ship. And there is no one up here. It's not a good sign for me. 
means that she is more than likely alone on this vessel and there ain't nothing that she can do about that. Hello, crewman. We joining the others and heading outside. There are still some that are alive that were just beneath our aim. Okay, well, the Marines are going to be a little tricky. We are just going to be spraying bullets out towards them for a little bit here, just to try and see if we can weaken them as they start to get closer. The Marines are my main concern, really. Oh, we nearly got you. Not quite enough, though. So, turning and running. Let's get ready to take another volley at you. That'll do. Okay, and heavy bleeding on this Marine already. That's good. Love to see it. Yeah, both of them. Both of them are not looking good. Oh, not quite enough. Come on. Heavy arterial bleeding. Just don't let them get a shot at us. There we go. Okay. We've got yet another helicopter here. The Apache. It's just like, it's just good to go. Just totally good to go. Man, if we knew, if we knew how to fly. Yeah. What Helmer Baron would have gived for this opportunity. Well, we are going to go and smash these bodies here. May making sure that they are not going to be coming back. That's a lot of dead bodies. And heading towards the front here. Bestial stalkers and many more. Okay. Well, we'll deal with them in the open the best way we know how. We can see them falling off ledges, falling down to the lower level. That's why there were so many in the water, I think, because they've just been falling off the edge. Another down. The crewman starts to get closer as May steadies up, blasts them away. Medic, you are going to be next. More noises from below. There we go. Got them. And we will be smashing these corpses as well, only stopping if something gets dangerously close to us. Oh boy. So many, May. So many. Yeah, we're not through yet, are we? Not by a long shot. Okay, start to get a little bit closer. That's good. That's what we want. And now we are just going to spray in their general direction. Let those bullets fly because we've got more than enough of them. Come on now. Get closer still. There we go. <laughs> very, very inaccurate on those last few shots. But hey, we are mowing them down. Got a firefighter, zombie marine, starting to get closer to us. Do a few of those wider shots, just as they get in closer. A little bit of AOE damage, you might say. And now it's just the firefighter left. Pop, pop, one more. There we go. That's that done. Oh, we've got a crawling zombie. Took you a while to get to us, huh? Let's get closer. There we go. All right. Now, where did all the others go? Just off the edge, off the side. We're going to make our way towards the very, very front of this thing. And, oh boy, there are still a lot of them up here, huh? And others that are starting to make their way up the stairs towards us. These crewmen from down below. That one actually managed to get a little bit closer to us. More than I would have liked. We're actually losing sight of them sometimes. I'm not sure where they're going. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Are they jumping? What's happening? Not sure. Yeah. I, I do not know where they're going. Could be part of the weird sight stuff that we've got going on at the moment. It does make it a little bit difficult to tell how many we have around us at any one time. Maybe it's the glare. A little hard to know, but man, the bodies are starting to pile up around May again. Just one by one, they fall. Let's deal with that pilot first. It's going to be closer. The Marine next. There we go. Feral Krim has been spotted and they are making their way on out towards us. We're down 200 rounds. We've still got 300 on this belt. More than enough to clear the rest of this deck, I think. Marine, you are next. Heavy bleeding on you already. There we go. Dealt with. Let's smash, pulp the rest of these bodies here and carry towards the very front, the very tip of this and there's more of them out there. Jeez. Just so, so many. Few of them falling down ledges, falling down below. Yep, I, and they're just disappearing. Not sure where they are going. They're going somewhere, <laughs> making a lot of noise beneath us. But the ones that are on this level, they're the ones that we are going to be dealing with. Sending out a wide spread of bullets right now. We had a misfire. That's okay. Oh, two in one go. Now let's deal with that marine. Nearly done. One more good shot. Here we go, May. Soldiers next. 
nearly there. Even with all of these bullets, there is no way that May would clear this entire ship. They'd still live. All it takes is one small mistake, one little slip up, and it's over. But she's done all that she can for those that are on here, hoping that there is yet one that has survived. But time and time again, we see that there is no one else here. There is no one else alive on this ship. They all died a long time ago. May, she's the last of them. The sole soldier still standing. Now, if there was a way to sink this ship, I think she would. But she doesn't have that capability, unfortunately. That is outside of our, outside of the possibilities. But that's us at the front. We've seen the whole ship now. We've been up the very, very top and just by how slowly some things are moving there, it's clear to me that uh, there is a lot still going on down below us here, but we're not hearing gunshots. We're not hearing screams. We're not hearing anyone. And that's why May's time on this ship is done. There are docks nearby. Maybe she can find people there. Safety, sanctuary. She's already beaten the fundamental challenge of this challenge, escaping the ship. But she came back. She didn't want to give up, but now it's clear to her. She is alone, but all is not lost, May. There's a chance for the future, a chance that there's someone out there still. And so let us hope that May might find that someone. And as much as I would like to explore all of those possibilities, the Rikon that you are hearing right now is a different Rikon from the one that was speaking in the previous sentence. After trying to continue on from this point, I've been unable to get back into May's save. It seems the strange temporal shenanigans have really messed with things. And as much as I would like to continue her tale and to see just where the road leads her, we more than likely would have only been looking at one extra episode of her finding safety. And while her current predicament certainly isn't safe, there are locations that she knows of close by that are. It's only a quick trip down the stairs to her canoe and then safely away from the aircraft carrier. And that is the fate of Major General May Crockett, a survivor who overcame this great challenge and now has a shot at making it in the new world. And so in the next episode, our attention shall be shifting, shall be changing onto that of another survivor. And so I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.